guys this is Carmen welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you five of my favorite plants that I have in my house right now and they're my favorite because they are the easiest we're gonna start with this golden pothos this was just a little plant when I got it about a year ago now the leaves are so big and so luscious and they've even started stretching across this table here and never mind Sammy there it's a snap time but it has started trailing across this uh, table here. Uh-oh, I think I woke them up. And it is also so easy to propagate. The plant that I showed you at the beginning of the video are actually cuttings from this very plant that I propagated. So very easy plant to take care of. The second plant I'm gonna share with you is the Maranta prayer plant. And this one also has grown so much in the year that I've had it. It's starting to trail over, so I could easily hang it from a macrame hanger on a wall or a hook, and it would look beautiful. This plant has flowered for me several times. I do mist it every other day, and I keep the soil evenly moist, meaning I don't let it dry out completely, but I don't let it sit in water. The leaves are the beauty in this plant, the burgundy under uh, side of the leaf and the veining of it, the coloring of it is just gorgeous. And at nighttime, those leaves turn up. So that's why it's called the prayer plant. The leaves turn up and you can really see the burgundy side of it. It's just gorgeous. The third plant I'm sharing with you is this Philodendron Brazil. This one is actually very easy. Just keep the soil evenly moist. I mist it every couple of days. And this is on a north facing window, so it's doing really well here. It can take medium light, but it's doing so well. It's getting new leaves on it there. You can see them coming out. They pop out of these little sheaths or sleeves. Those dry up and fall off and then the leaf continues to grow. But that lime green stripe is what did it for me. I had to have this plant. The next one up is this Chinese Evergreen. I have this one here in front of my patio door and it gets really low to medium light. But what really astonished me this week on this plant are these flowers. I did not know it could flower and also the flowers look so much like a peace lily flower. Really gorgeous. It's got two open there, another one on the way. But this plant here, I let it dry out and uh, check it every couple of weeks. And I end up watering it about every two to three weeks thoroughly and then let it dry out again. This is such a tough little plant. If you forget to water it, it's not gonna hate you for it. It is really a beautiful plant. And finally, the last one is this Chinese money tree, a braided Chinese money tree. This plant here I got at Ikea. It was only $20, can you believe it? And it's doing so well. It's also in front of my patio door and it's giving off lots of new little leaves there. But I can tell it's really healthy because it's also growing little leaves down at the bottom of the truck. I just picked those off to get keep it looking clean and um, Put together but this one also I water every two to three weeks very easy plant to take care of um, I do keep it out of direct sun because it can burn the leaves if you leave it in direct sun but it also I've seen it in a bonsai form this is much larger but I've also seen this same tree in a bonsai form and that is also very easy to take care of I hope you liked all of the uh, plants that I shared with you today, friends. If you did enjoy this video and it was helpful to you, please do give it a thumbs up. That helps me so much. And remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Have a blessed day, friends.